and victory would make them only the fourth club to have won all three European club competitions. Tony Gubber is the commentator. The French are determined to wind up the passion for this showpiece occasion. They've put on a fantastic display for two hours already here in Bordeaux, and this could certainly be one of the great nights of European football. In their tight little ground, Bordeaux have already proved their ability to overturn a 2-0 deficit from the first leg, beating AC Milan here 3-0 in the quarter-final. Bayern were unashamedly confident. Seven of their team were named in Germany's squad for the European Championship next month, but it could be a night for strong nerves. And Bayern are attacking the goal to the right in the white strip. They do have a fantastic record in this UEFA Cup campaign. They've won all five of their away legs scoring 17 goals indeed they haven't failed to score in any away match they've gone all the way back with him and that looked a reckless challenge in that side Hansen well forward taken by Vitska Zidane It was long range. Let's go. And Bayern have six in the wall. And it was uh, Schwarzer at the end of the wall who just stuck out a boot to redirect it. Corner. Anselin. Dugeri. The onus is on Bordeaux to press and look for a goal. Vitska bursting through. Still kept his feet. Well, half the crowd looked at the referee, expected free kick, but he waved it on. Tumbling from the challenge just a little bit late. Beckenbauer's side still leading 2-0 on aggregate and we're into the second half Klinsman that's Cannon to Kostadinov Scholl Bayern have got the away goal there may have been a deflection And Mehmet Scholl scoring from inside the penalty area as he did in the first leg in Munich. Who are beaten. And Bon Carrell, the player who looks very dejected, as does the Bordeaux dugout. Here's Dogon, who tried to clear it, cannoned off Klinsman to Kostadinov, and the neat little back heel found Mehmet Scholl, and there was a deflection, it may have been off Luka. It's 3-0 on aggregate, and it's an away goal, and Bayern's confidence now looks to have been very well founded. Well, he couldn't have hit it any better, he beat Khan, but back off the bottom of the post. At least it would have been a start. Dog on. But he didn't really look before he knocked that in. And they're hunting Kostadinov. Free kick. And this will be kept in play by Shaw. And he can get into the penalty area. Klinsman's coming to meet him at the near post. Out by Hansen corner, and in their mood at the moment, Bordeaux look likely to concede more. They just seem to have lost their shape since that third goal went in. They've pushed players more forward, but some of the defending has become a bit scrappy. And Shaw will take the corner. Oh, 
Oh, the empty goal. Kostadinov gets the second, and Bordeaux might wonder where the defence had gone. And that surely, if we were in any doubt before, clinches that Bayern are going to lift their first European trophy in 20 years. Here's Hansen. That's another free kick. They're quite happy to concede free kicks in that position, Bayern. Especially with the uh, scoreline the way it is. That's in. Detail, the substitute, has finally got it through the defensive wall. After all the other free kicks from similar positions have really been poorly taken. He just went for power. And Oliver Kahn almost uh, spooning it into his own net. And Bordeaux finally score, but it's 75 minutes in coming. see the disappointment in French faces. This UEFA final just proving to be a match too far after Bordeaux qualified for the competition via the Inter-Toto Cup. Here's Zickler. Strunz! Yes! Now, did Klinsman get a touch? There's no doubt about Bayern's victory on the night and in the final. They are definitely the UEFA champions. Strunz will want to claim the goal, but was there a touch here which may give Klinsmann a, a glimpse of that record in Europe? It would be his 15th goal. Well, there was certainly a major redirection by Klinsmann, and surely that's a goal for Klinsmann, his 15th in the competition, which means he does now move on the record of 14 which was previously held by Emmerich and Altafini and John Walk of 14 goals in one European campaign Klinsman there with his 15th well little pockets of players around the field French and German are in deep conversation with each other as we move into added on time at the end of this second half and Bayern are back as a force in Europe Franz Beckenbauer steering them to their first trophy since that hat-trick of success in the Champions Cup in the mid-70s victory on the night by three goals to one against Bordeaux 5-1 on aggregate The long wait is over after 20 years of failure. Bayern Munich have again won a European competition. The UEFA Cup to complete a trio of all three European trophies that have gone into the trophy cabinet at Bayern Munich. And whereas the French on the night looked for passion, Lothar Mateus and his team certainly had composure. And of the 32 goals that they've scored in the competition, 20 of them, let it be said, were scored away from home.